Morning, friends. Thought I'd show you what I found in the desert this morning here. Bright sunny day this morning in Quartzsite, Arizona. You never know what you're gonna find out here in the desert. And uh, sometimes when you find it, you still don't know what it is. Millennia from now, archeologists are gonna come along and they're gonna say, oh wow, look at this. It was a religious ceremonial spot. This part here, this was to get closer to the underworld in your afterlife. Look at the stonework. Boy, what those primitives knew how to do. Wow. Fact is, what this represents, am I making a mistake standing in this circle? It could be magic. Not that kind of magic, the magic circle in uh, Quartzsite. The fact is, all of these things just represent boredom. Being bored in the desert with nothing better to do. It's uh, quite a wash here. I bet you uh, coyotes run past in that wash. Well, some people say this stuff you find in the desert is artwork. I'm telling you, it ain't art. It's just boredom in the desert. Editor's note. If you happen to be the person who spent all of that time making that thing in the desert... I'm just being a smart aleck. I really do enjoy them. I look for these things in the desert, and the fact is, I actually do consider them to be art in the desert. Thank you for your hard work. Speaking of things I found in the desert... I hear you in there making a video. <laughs> We're doing our ending. <laughs> I, I see you got a pizza. Oh, the new one? Yeah. Have you had one yet? We, I had one piece on the way in. Do you mind if you're on YouTube? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, uh, we, um, I wanted to try it because, you know, there's this big controversy about it, so. Well, about what? It's better? Well, silly, know, like silly, yeah. Yeah competition between Silly Al and Outback, but there there is no competition, but people are, you know, kind of making it. There's no bad pizza. That's right. Yeah. I mean, I liked it. I think it's Not great. Not even cold pizza. But I'll still eat Silly Al's pizza, too, so we'll see. Okay, well, anyway, I, I, did, I didn't tape you when you were making a video. I used to do that to Aja. She'd be, we'd be standing somewhere <laughs> where... And she's talking about this and that and that, and I just, I just record her audio. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Are you going over there? People are starting to go over to the party. Uh, probably not till later. Yeah, I'm gonna go get cleaned up, and uh, I don't know. We've been on the, we've been out there doing laundry. Get it done. We did. Orange chicken. How is it? Stupendous. Stupendous. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big word. Mm -hmm. Is it as good as uh, Panda Express? Better. I think so too. And I made a bunch. I also made a mess. I'm a student of the Google School of Cooking. Seems to work out just fine most of the time. I've been working on another project. I'm building a sliding cargo tray for my other bay here. I've got a metal one in the bay right behind me, but I cut up the wood back 
at the ranch with my table saw, but uh, I brought the pieces along and I'm assembling them into the wooden tray. Did you build that other one that slides or was that there? It was there. It's all made out of metal. It has an 800 pound capacity. This one, the slide mechanisms have a 500 pound capacity, but uh, my wooden box here is not gonna have a 500 pound capacity, but it doesn't need to have a 500 pound capacity. I ain't hauling no 500 pound gorillas. Looks like we took out 500 pounds worth of stuff out of that. <laughs> you think? Make room for this. You think? You have the, the pipe that this thing's going to slide on? Yeah, they're drawer slides. They're five foot drawer slides. That's what's rated at 500 pounds. All of this stuff came out of that bay. Now, it's uh, arguable whether or not I need all this stuff, but the fact is I have all this stuff. And uh, how many uh, URVers have a vice? Hang on, wait a minute. How many of you RVers have an anvil? <laughs> it says Ike on there. That was my vice when I was a little boy. And somebody wrote his name on it with red fingernail polish. Somebody named Ike. That'd be my dad. After I moved out, well, the anvil has returned to the rightful owner. So anyway, here's what's going on. Yes, all of this stuff came out of there and yes, it's all going back in there. But as you all know, sometimes it's hard to get stuff. So the last three days I've been working on this. It's a 500 pound slide. Uh, I don't think my wooden box is gonna hold 500 pounds, but it doesn't need to. 500 pound drawer slides. I got it all mounted and uh, it's working fine. Might take me another day to organize it all, but I'm up for the task. And locks. Locks halfway out also. I'm gonna put the heavy stuff in the back. You'll see. An anvil, that's heavy, right? A vise, that's heavy, right? fact is I don't use them very often. The next heaviest thing uh, is enough socket wrenches to redo the engine. Guess what? Uh, you know what? You knew I was gonna be able to do it, and hey, it's not that crowded either. I wanted to get this in there, but it, it didn't work. But, watch this. There we are, all loaded up. Everything's handy, nothing's crowded, nothing's piled on top. Well, these are, but it's where I've kept them for years. I'm real happy with that. 
I looked online to get a 20 inch slide and went all the way through. $748, More Hide was the brand. I built this for about 150. The slides were 100. $34 for a sheet of plywood, nuts, bolts, screws. Can I count a couple of broken drill bits in there? Still under 150. We took a ride down to La Paz Valley, which is a little town south of Quartzsite, about five miles. It's uh, by Roadrunner uh, BLM. We have a friend down there named Tim who's a mechanic at the Diddle Motor Works. If you need a mechanic near Quartzsite and you want to find Tim, just drive around La Paz Valley. It's not a very big pent town. Till you see this tractor. Take the next left. Tim worked on my Suzuki sidekick several years ago, replaced the timing chain, did some other work for me, and then another friend was taking all of his sidekicks down there, uh, Suzuki's and Chevy trackers to get them fixed, and I know other people have gotten other things fixed here. Uh, good mechanic, reasonable prices. What else do you need when you don't know anybody else around? We were asking Tim about doing some work on a friend's uh, big diesel, but said it was out of his wheelhouse, that big a thing. So uh, don't take your big diesel engine down there. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing because this is take two. Because <laughs> what I said was too stupid to put on YouTube. <laughs> We're riding around here in La Paz Valley, Arizona. And uh, population 368 in the 2020 census. Found some raptors, velociraptors. Look at those teeth. Whoa. Let's see if I can get a little sky in there. There, now you can see his teeth. And number three is over here. He's running. Chasing. On the way back north towards Quartzsite, we took the old Yuma Road. This road used to go from Quartzsite to Yuma, I guess. And we went past the new sewage treatment ponds that the BLM is building for La Posa Tyson Wash. This is the new chain link fence and a sign around what will be the new uh, sanitation ponds. And we were curious about this word, stabilization ponds. Just seemed like a curious word to us, but we made up a lot of jokes which probably aren't fit for YouTube. You can make up your own jokes about what was being stabilized. We thought it also include, should include no fishing and no swimming. Uh, no hunting was kind of interesting to us too. We can't imagine what people would be hunting for. So does anybody want to be in a video? A YouTube video. Yeah, here's my breakfast. Oh, here's your breakfast, Duck. Oh, dang. A little salsa, sour cream. You better get a stiffer plate. Oh, this, this will work. Okay. No. It's not for little girls. Come here, Chloe. Yeah. Yeah, dog content. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> And how's the cook doing? Hello! <laughs> Isn't anybody gonna feed the dog? 
Huh? She already has. Look at that bacon nose twitching. She has. Oh, yeah. She smells it. I don't think we're allowed. Oh, okay. More dog content. Quark. Cute little guy. Sometimes decisions can just be hard. Which one should I do? Should I do red? Yellow? Yellow? Red? Yellow? Red? Yellow? Oh, maybe blue? No? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yellow. It's yellow. Nobody ever eats out of the blue flyer. I had high hopes for this bird, but come on, the blue flower. Blue, blue, blue. Do blue, blue. Oh, ah. Apparently that uh, syrup is not keto. Sun's going down. Time for lights and a fire. Look at Dan's Merry Christmas lights. Isn't that beautiful? Got a nice campfire. Miss Lynn is in attendance. I don't have my lights on because we're going to take a picture of the bicycle. Everybody act normal. Everybody act normal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, looks good. I need some of those for my bike, but then I never ride it, so. That looks good, Jerry. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Where did you get those online, or did you get them there? I got them in China. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.